Okay, I'm back. Um, we're going to attempt to add the leap motion once again. Um, okay, so let's go to our project generator. If you ever want to add an add-on that you don't already have, the easiest way to do it, I think, at least for me, so far, has been to whoops, go to your project generator, import the app you want to add the add-on to, Where are you? There it is. And then just add it from here. Uh, this this uh, project generator not only uh, generates projects, but it also updates your project. So if you have you open one, you have an update option. You can remove and add add-ons here. Um, I will warn you if you oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. if you add uh, if you manually change things in your ex or your build settings uh, either in no matter what platform you're on this will override all of your changes i uh, i had a two-hour process that i had to redo because I, I didn't know that um and of course it does this uh, automatically writes your uh, build settings and it will overwrite what you already have so be careful um that i have to do that for a couple add-ons that just aren't aren't friendly to this environment um so I'm going to update that. We're adding this add-on, open an IDE, uh, resave. And now we should, if it's like it was before, it will totally fail just because this add-on was included. <coughs> Okay, so we can observe we're having the same issue as before. Um, not, not great. Um, maybe uh, the author has mentioned this. So on Mac Xcode, rename the project in Xcode. Do not rename the in Finder. Whoa. Slow double click the project name and rename. Interesting, I wonder what this is all about. Okay, so he just wants us to copy the project and uh, presumably to save the settings of the add-on. However, I that will prevent us from adding our own add-ons. Let's um let's try this uh so I've already built this project. All right, so this is the example project that, that comes with um, O of X Leap Motion 2. My Leap Motion is connected. It's sitting on my lap. Um, and I can put my hands there, and we can see them scanned. Great. Um, OK, so it's working. However, I don't know what kind of uh, changes he had to make here. Um, I will we will go on this journey of finding that out because once I, as I said, once I update the project with my other add-ons I need, it will redo all of this. So I didn't need to find out what has been done here. Li likely in the build settings, so. And more often than not in the header search path. So let's find out. Let's compare and contrast these. So let's go here. I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the next desktop here. All right. 
stop this. Let's go to our build settings. Header path. So ours will be longer, but let's make sure we have um, libs and source. And libs will have include lib osx win. Yes. So that's all the same. Um, <clears throat> interesting. Let's check the files. Um, first, let's go to add ons. Leap motion 2. This should be the same. Source and libs. Source and libs. Okay, so there's four files here. And four files here. Okay, now let's check the actual files. And the, and the projects, I mean. So his bin has no data, so this can't be it either. Um, hmm. All right. Open frameworks and project X config. Look at ours. Same thing. Okay. Um, interesting. So the error we actually get is library not loaded. So what makes his so special? Um, let's see. There's the example. Let's go to ours. Compare these folders. Bin, config.make, make file. Okay, these are all the same. Um, what library does it have in that folder that I don't have? So let's go back. It's got a config.make file. I wager. that this will be where we need to change something. Where's text edit? That's all I want, there we go. Ah. Yeah, okay. Um. I wonder, this is, I've not done much with these files, but I'm going to copy this. I'm hoping I can have that, this is strange. I mean, this is for the add-on itself. Ah, I should open this one. Okay, no, we're good. Do we have a config.make? Yes, we do. All right, let's compare these. the same, or at least at, at first glance. Um, wow, okay. Uh, perhaps it's in the code, it seems unlikely.
Hmm. And there's no warnings here. I mean, it's really problematic. Um, so I guess what could be done... <clears throat> well, I mean, it's a little goofy, but at this point, it seems like the solution. We're going to do, like, uh, well, hmm. All right, so let's do a quick test. We're going to copy... We're not going to use the terminal. Let's just um, go back. Here's his example project. Copy it. Let's put that in our uh, apps folder, my apps. And uh, let's uh, copy that here. And then, first of all, let's just uh, see if this copied version will run like his did. Uh, every once in a while, Mac, you'll get this. It means nothing. Okay, so the copied version works. Let's see if adding our own add-ons will destroy it. Let's go to our project generator, import our newly copied version of his example. Where has it gone? Example. Oh, no, no, no. Go back. Open. And let's add our add on. So we need ATK and uh, GUI. Update. So this may have overwritten. My concern is that that overrode whatever was special about his version. Okay, so this puts us in a position or a path to success. Uh, I don't know how to manually make his library work, so we'll have to do some Frankensteining. Um, hmm. Okay, so what we need to do is first of all we'll need to rename this something other than example uh, he gave us instructions on how to do this rename the x project in the xcode not in the finder that will cause problems slow double click the project name okay let's, let's give it a slow double click this one nope let's go to here example uh, slow double click this maybe maybe here ah okay so let's call it uh, I called it LGC VGS and I'll just give this a different version leap that way, uh, I'll just keep the old version as just a, uh, a non-gesture controlled version of the synth, and this one with the leap motion. And uh, yes, I trust you, Xcode, to, to do these for me. Continue. Okay. So we renamed it. Let's find out if that ruined everything. Ah, huh. Okay, that tells me this is the same error we had. So the problem apparently is that the project is not called example. That is, uh, that's frustrating. I wonder, huh. So it seems like we followed the uh, the instructions here. Oh, 
Oh, let's let's do one more thing. Um, let's name. We didn't name the. That's my mistake. I'm still going to take the blame for it at this point. Um, let's take the name of the project and uh, also name the folder in which the project resides. The same. All right. So where are we now? Oh, it's called example. So I'm going to rename the project folder. And then, nope, there we go, resave. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course it doesn't. But I'm just going to close out here. Let's go here and see if that made a difference. Okay. Hmm. You know, I really don't want to call this synth in this project example. And that looks like the only way forward with this. That's a uh, That is frustrating. Let's see. You know, one one thing I didn't do was that. See, so you copy it. So maybe we have to name the file in the finder and then rename it in Xcode. So let's try it in that order instead. And then, if that doesn't work, there I, I see no way forward here. Let's just rename this. Uh, we let's call it a v leap for version leap. Fine. And then an X code. Should come up with this. Sure. Continue. Okay. Okay, well we played by his rules. Um, what does this mean? I've, I've used Leap Motion but uh, only from that example project. And I, I really, you know, this is a problem. That's absolutely bizarre. Let's check. Yeah, I, I don't see a difference. Um, build rules phases. Uh,
well. This is a real shot in the dark. I can't imagine that matters. You know, one really blaring uh, issue here is that this is example debug. This is not example. So that's, there's a mismatch. That could be a very big problem. Now, this is nonsense. It's not going to need to change anything. Um, you know, perhaps that's not where I was supposed to uh, change the name. I don't see anywhere else to do it though. I'm not gonna wait for that. Um, I mean, here's another shot in the dark. This will take a while, but let's just do a release build. Okay, I'm going to stop that. It's not likely to work anyway. Um, going back to debug mode. And I uh, found something. I should scroll down further. Um, okay, adding leap motion to an existing project. In the project browser, add leap motion to source to the project. Okay. Create a new group. All right, let's go back a step. Um, Let's go, I'm going to go ahead and delete what we're working on at the moment. Okay, and um, yeah, I know, close. And here's what we need to change. Let's go ahead and um, take away loop motion from uh, the project we have here, the one from the previous uh, installment of this tutorial or work through. And, uh, oh, oh, no, no, no. My apps, there we go, open that. And let's just get rid of it. He doesn't want us to add it that way, which is fine by me. Okay, update. Open an IDE. So he says, create a new group. So let's do this probably here, let's make sure. Drag these directories. Uh, okay, we're adding source. All right, so it is unclear where this new source should be added. I'm just going to add it to the source folder. That seems reasonable to me. Um, new group. And this will be called. Oh, fix it. Motion 2. Okay. And then from there, drag these directories from Leap Motion into this new group. Source and libs. Okay, that I can do. Um, go back. 
affects leap motion too. Um, so we need to add source and libs there. <coughs> Source. <coughs> Copy items if needed. Can't hurt. And libs. Okay. Important. You must have this in the run script build phase of your Xcode project. Where the first path is the path to the leap motions add-on. Uh, sheesh. Okay, I'm going to copy this. Run script build phase. Okay. I'll bite. But where, where is this? Build settings. Oh, come on. Run script, okay. Add. All right, so this is definitely the step we're missing here. Um, so I think, uh, I mean, I've never used this, so wait, I think we need to add it here. Um, all right. Oh, no, no, no. Add this to the end. All right, and let's give it a go. Uh, I did not get rid of this thing I added. That might have been a, uh, something to stop this from working. Frankenstein's monster. So, uh, just to wrap up this uh, installment in this uh, this this little project here, let's just uh, copy pasta uh, his example code um, into our app. So, I do not believe we'll need this anymore, just simply because we're not using this as an add-on. Actually, perhaps we will need. Yeah, yeah let's 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 keep that. Um, yeah, we we'll need to. It's not an add on anymore. Um, it won't be in our add on list when we update the project. Um, however, uh, we still need to include this header 
So let's go to our source header include. As a matter of fact, let's just uh, make sure that doesn't break anything. And then we'll need to see if we have access to this stuff. All right, seems like that was fine. Cool. Um, let's try to just keep this fairly organized. Um, leave stuff. So. This should be fine if we try to compile this and it it's not immediately recognizing that, but there it goes. Okay. So it seems like it knows what that means. Ah, of course. Of course, great. Um Woo Linker error. Okay. Um, hmm. I mean, it's not impossible that it doesn't like that we called this and don't use it. So let's let's keep going on this path here. It's unlikely, however. All right, so we'll have a specific part of the setup dedicated to leap. specific part for update. And a specific part for draw and exit, uh, but who? Okay, um, I won't. I won't grab that background. Yes, I will. No, I won't. Yes, I will. Okay. Um, so I'm going to put this before our draw stuff, and then it should still draw that on the 2D plane and keep our interface 2D. And finally, let's close the leap. Of course. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I can't find the files, it seems to me. Uh, it's usually what this means. Um, so we can just uh, we can just brute force this bad boy. Um, this isn't going to be. Wait a minute. Let's go back to what he says. Yeah, I'm just going to, uh, wait, where is that? I mean, this will, uh, well, I don't want to pull all of these out. 
No, I definitely don't. Um, hmm. Yeah, how would it know that's there? Or what to do with it? Oh, that's on Linux anyway, but... I know that's OS X. Um... I mean, I think this is what the original problem was. It didn't know how to find this, but we wrote explicit instructions for it to find it. Um, I'm thinking if we just take the source files, drag them into our source folder, and the library files, drag them into our source folder. I mean, this is hacky, but I think this will make them visible. No, not even close. Um, failed really fast this time. Actually, you know what? I'm going to undo that. Yes, please. No, don't do that to me. Ah. Okay, which ones were in the source? Yeah, and the includes are the leap and the leap math that header. Those were in include. And these must have been in the source. Wait. Yes, here we go. Source. And I'm actually you know, I made all these changes in the files. It's it's time to clean this. Um, and that will hopefully uh, well, unfortunately we have to rebuild this all, but hopefully that will reformat uh, the file structure. Sometimes it doesn't keep up. Gotta dust it off a bit. While this is building, this will take a long time since it was just cleaned. I'm going to recover our, uh, our leap version from the trash. Um. <clears throat> going to put it back in apps, my apps. I'm going to open this. And uh, I'm just going to do the one change. I'm going to go to the build phase. Well, where is it? Whoa, why is it gone? All right, build phases. And uh, add that bit to the run script. but doesn't like that at all. Oof. Well, that's cool. This is uh, what I would consider a, a grueling experience. Um, not totally uncommon when trying to use add-ons. It's always nice when it doesn't happen though. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and force quit this because I don't have any faith this will happen. All right, I'm gonna go to this project. Maybe. Go to the run script and add that little piece of code to find that dynamic library. Or script, I should say. And now, so that was the only issue I think we had with this. And this, the library add-on should be linked properly this time. I don't know why this wouldn't work. So, cross our fingers.
Okay. I think we've got it. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it took too long to even feel good when it finally worked. All right, so we have to Frankenstein the other direction now. Um, that's... Uh, let's go to our version without uh, leap motion. We'll need to add our grain file files, I should say. Drop those into our source. Copy if needed, sure. All right, and now let's open the Xcode file. Let's go ahead and delete all of this nonsense now. Well, I guess it's not, I shouldn't say nonsense, but it's gone. Um, okay, so we'll need all of our stuff here. So we can do Command A, Command C. We could have just uh, dropped these in now that I think about it, but here we are. So this worked because we already copied the leap stuff. Um, let's move this to the second desktop so we can copy and paste more easily. Command A, Command C. Command B. All right, and let's uh, let's give it a shot. Ah, yes, of course. Should be four errors loading sound file. All right, so um, the obvious reason being uh, we did not move those to our data folder. So, uh, bin, data, here's the four we need. Command C, let's go to, app. Oh. oh, apps, my apps, and our new version with the leap. Bin, data. <laughs> So I've had this issue before. Something that he's doing with the graphics and leap motion is, um, well, first I'll verify that the leap is actually connecting. There we go. Um, but yeah, it's causing this. Our, our GUI is still active, but we can't see it. Um, let's try to uh, remember. Actually, I might have this in a Google Doc. I had a list of pitfalls somewhere for open frameworks. This was on that list. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. It's an older one. Um, I might have to blur this out. A lot of dipole particle generated documentation. Pitfalls, ha. Ah. Okay. I knew this would be useful. Problem, GUI blacked out. Solution, disable depth test before drawing GUI. Ha, ah. there we are. All right, so let's go to our draw loop.
first let's make sure that the depth well it doesn't really matter I mean I guess it's a uh, let's just disable it before we draw the GUI like I had on that list um, of depth test disable So, and, and, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, what's it called? Of depth test false, maybe? I wish it would catch up and tell me the options. Of depth, ah, of set depth test of sure false don't test for depth so what happens it was it was testing for depth and for some reason decided uh because of the depth that it shouldn't draw the colors of the faders i'm taking it i had to figure it out at one point but hopefully this works there we go Ah, okay, so we're finally... <laughs> Man, okay, so this was going, I think, fairly smoothly up until that. All right, so there's nothing too special. What we have now is uh, the leap motion going at the same time as our synth. It is in no way connected, but this has been a significant journey just getting these, stitching these two kinds of things together. So Frankenstein's monster is alive. Uh, in this next and final installment, we will be using the leap motion to control the synth. Uh, thank you.